Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk with Tak. And welcome to my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. I, I baked this strawberry, raspberry, and blueberry cake the other day. And the reason I baked this cake because I bake it exactly the way how I like it. And the frosting of this cake is made from fresh whipped cream. I remember the first time I have a cake like this uh, was in England, where they pile a lot of strawberry uh, over fresh whipped cream. And since all the berries are now in season, I decided I'm going to give it a try. And now I have figured out the template, I can create many different versions. So here is a strawberry with mango, and this is a blueberry with walnut. And then now I have a strawberry with a macadamia nut. And they are all variations of a basic template. So as you can see here, I can apply my fast cooking system to anything that I want to cook, not just in stir frying. I remember when I first started teaching, uh, a senior faculty once said to me, he said the most successful way in your teaching is to help students to see possibilities. And because you are not there to show them what to do, instead you are there to show them what they can do. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to stir fry eggplants. And I know you probably would tell me that uh, you uh, really do not like eggplant. In fact, you might never had eggplant before. And I remember once I visit my cousin March in Canada, and uh, she cooked an eggplant dish for me. And I thought I would not like eggplant. But now eggplant has become one of my favorite vegetables. Uh, so as the saying goes, you don't know what you don't know. And it might change your mind once you start to see how eggplant is being stir fried and how easy it is incorporated into your meal. You might want to give it a try. And there are many different kinds of eggplant. And eggplant is particularly common uh, used in Indian cooking. Uh, eggplant is also used in Chinese, Japanese, and Middle Eastern cooking. Uh, there are many ways to cook eggplant. But I find that the most efficient way to cook eggplant is by stir-frying. Uh, eggplant is a little bit uh, tricky to cook. You have to cook it just right. And you should try not to overcook or undercook them. And there are two common types of egg eggplant. The one that you mostly find in the supermarket uh, is a large, almost oblong shaped one and frequently known as the American Beauty. The skin of an eggplant is highly nutritious, so I normally do not peel them. However, the American Beauty eggplant has a tougher skin. And if you do not like the skin, you can always peel them first. Uh, for the nutritional value, I will retain the skin. Uh, the second type of eggplant has a sausage shape, and it's frequently referred to as either Japanese or Chinese eggplants. Uh, the skin of this eggplant is definitely softer, uh, so you can eat them. Uh, and there's definitely no need to peel the skins of this type of eggplant. And for both types of eggplants, I will cut them into about bite size. At this eggplant, uh, if you prep them in advance um, and store them in plastic container, they have excellent shell life. They usually can last up to 10 days. Uh, the flesh of the eggplant might turn dark after you store them for a few days, uh, but that does not affect their taste and texture. Uh, however, if you do not prep them in advance, uh, they are going to go bad on you really fast. Uh, this eggplant uh, has been in the refrigerator uh, for about 7 days. The color might look a little bit odd, uh, but when you cook them, the flavor is as good as when they are just cut. Uh, what I really like about eggplant is their versatility uh, to go with all different kinds of vegetables and meat. As the saying goes, variety is the spice of life, and that's definitely true for eggplants. I think uh, in the past I did not like eggplants because uh, my past experience with eggplants 
is that uh, I will eat eggplant more or less by itself. Eggplant has a unique flavor and texture, and when you eat it by itself, it can become boring very quickly. However, when you combine eggplant uh, with other vegetables and meat, it not only makes the eggplant more interesting, but it also makes the dish more interesting. In this video, I'm going to show you first how to cook the eggplant correctly, and then add other vegetables to create a eggplant vegetable medley. All the eggplant dishes that I cook here uh, use a template-based cooking approach rather than recipe-based cooking. By making minor modifications and adjustments to the templates, uh, I can create almost infinite versions uh, of this eggplant dishes. Uh, this is the objective of my fast cooking system. Uh, with flavor chasing, advanced prepping, stir frying, and template based cooking, it makes home cooking practical, efficient, creative, and fun. And it also very fast. Uh, when you apply my fast cooking system, uh, you can have dinner ready all from scratch using all fresh ingredients in less than 20 minutes from the time you step foot into the kitchen to the time when food is being served on the table. So okay, let's go into the kitchen. I'm going to show you how to cook eggplants and then combine them with uh, other food ingredients. Uh, before I cook the eggplant, I use the wok to pan fry some salmon. Uh, during the process, the salmon releases a lot of oil from its skin, and it is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. So I'm going to use the wok directly uh, to cook the eggplants. Uh, this will allow the eggplants to absorb the omega-3 fatty acid. I'm going to cook about three cups of uh, eggplant, which I have sliced them to bite size. Eggplant has a very unique texture. Uh, they almost like a sponge, and they particularly are able to absorb oil. Oil turned out to be play an important role in cooking the eggplants. Uh, the hot oil penetrate into the fiber of the eggplant and soften them. Uh, you notice that by now, uh, the bottom of the wok is almost completely free of oil. And you can see some of the eggplant has turned into a slightly brown color from absorbing the oil. And some of the pieces remain to be white. It means that I don't have enough oil in it, so I just add a touch more oil. Because if I do not saturate those pieces with oil, uh, then they will become dry uh, under heat. And they will not be cooked properly. And their flavor will be unacceptable and the texture tends to be tough. And by now the eggplant is about 50% cooked. Next I add about 2 cups of zucchini. I add the zucchini later during this cooking process because the zucchini takes less time to cook. And from my previous experience, I find that the zucchini and the eggplant match well because their contrasting texture, uh, that makes the dish more interesting. Uh, I want the eggplant to be completely soft, and I think by now I've pretty much achieved that texture. Uh, so the final step is for me to add some the portobello mushroom. I then add about 2 cups of thinly sliced mushroom, and by now uh, the eggplant and the zucchini is probably about 70-80% to 80 done. Uh, the dish by now is somewhere between 70 to 80 percent done. Uh, next, I'm going to uh, add a combination of different kind of peppers, which I chopped up earlier, and I have them in my advanced prepping. Uh, this pepper mix also contains some jalapeno pepper, and this will make the dish slightly spicy, but will not be too bad. And after stir fry the dish for another 20 to 30 seconds, uh, I'm ready to season the dish. I use a combination of oyster sauce and hoisin sauce, and that seems to go very well with the eggplant. I have tried many different seasoning strategies in the past, and this is one approach that I'm going to take uh, for this dish. The final ingredients I'm going to add is some sliced tomatoes. 
Again, I uh, already have them in my advanced prepping. And with a few quick mix, the dish is ready. I serve this vegetable medley right next to some salmon that I have fried earlier. Uh, you can take a look at this video, how I pan fry the salmon. I uh, really enjoy this uh, eggplant dish. There are just enough eggplant in there to make the dish interesting. Uh, since the eggplant has very different texture in comparison to other ingredients, uh, it provides a very nice contrast. Uh, this dish is a good demonstration of flavor chasing, uh, because flavor ultimately is a combination of different types of ingredients, and each one of them provides their unique characteristics uh, to create a flavor uh, that you enjoy. And with template-based cooking, you can always uh, substitute different ingredients and try out what you might like best. And when I use my fast cooking system, I, I find cooking to be spontaneous and intuitive. Each time when I cook, I feel a sense of discovery and exploration. I post a video each day uh, to help you to adopt my fast cooking system so that you can make home cooking as part of your daily routines. Uh, if you'd like to learn more about my fast cooking system, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.